So you may have heard stories about refugees, about the smugglers and the hard journey. You have probably seen images for refugees fleeing Syria from the outside perspective. I'm not here to report a story. I am here to tell you my story. Four years ago, I was a math student at the University of Damascus. I dropped out to be a paramedic, to join the revolution by saving lives rather than taking them. In early 2013, the regime arrested and tortured my father, so I had to leave my hometown. I went to another town to work as a paramedic in an underground field hospital uh, that it was a vegetable storage facility before the war. There was often no electricity and we were doing life-saving operations using the lights of our mobile phones. In April 27th, 2013, I was driving two injured people back to the field hospital. The regime loves to target hospitals and ambulances, so they targeted us with a shell and I lost my leg. My best friend, Manar, rescued me and put me in the back of a truck going to Jordan. We made it to Jordan, then I went through months of surgeries and healing until I received my prosthetic leg. Losing my leg was a price I had to pay in order to see the life from another perspective. The perspective of someone who wants the people not to suffer what he has suffered. The year after my injury was the most important year in my life. The transformation process my transformation process became a part of the solution instead of being part of the problem. Then things come crazy. We were, me and Benar, we were on an MTV show talking about how he saved my life. Then during the show, we met Mr. Kieran Kleinschmidt, who connected me with the volunteer position at Refugee Open World, or Rome. So, uh, Refugee Openware is building an ecosystem humanitarian innovation that uses advanced technologies to help people who have lost everything. Technologies such as 3D printing, robotics, artificial intelligence, or the Internet of Things. Our mission is to crowdsource, co-create, and test solutions to the world's toughest humanitarian challenges. Challenges like unemployment or education. But there is one more thing that Ro did. It gave me hope. It gave me dignity and purpose. It gave me the access to that world. The world of creating. And being in that world was a life-changing experience for me. I learned how to use 3D printers in three weeks and how to code Arduinos in three days. While working in Jordan, While working with Rowan Jordan, we used 3D printing to test 3D printed upper lamps with a maximum cost of uh, 54 euros. So we used uh, open source hardware and software to create a device for my blind friend Ahmed to help him recognize objects around him. Also we used 3D printing and 3D modeling software to design a replacement part for my own prosthetic limb with a 90% of cost reduction. And guess what? It took us only five minutes to design and two hours to make. So my purpose in life was to learn and to apply digital fabrication for social innovation. And I had so much desire to learn, to grow, and to address the suffering of my people. But for refugees, uh, the aid was being cut in Jordan. 
and it was really hard for us to to stay there. I couldn't get a work permit, and after years of trying to get resettled in another country, it was really clear that the process was broken. So the humanitarian system failed us, and I decided to do the journey of death to Europe with Ahmed, my blind friend, and with Deeb, who was partly paralyzed by two sniper shots in his back in Syria. I met him at the back of that truck to Jordan. Now, it was better for us to die in a death boat, better than living with no future. I was in a rubber boat filled with 55 people crossing from Turkey to Greece. And we spent 12 days until we arrived from Turkey to Germany, dealing with armed smugglers and sleeping outside in the freezing cold. Germany was our heaven. It welcomed us, we can work, we can study, and I had so much uh, desire to start to learn German language. <laughs> Finally, we made it to Berlin, but our life now is filled with the day-to-day -day, uh, integration challenges. Some of us thinking about going back home, it's better for them to die with their families than living here with no dignity. But not me. I have a purpose. Through all the suffering I experienced in Syria, Jordan, and on my way to Germany, I learned that peace and knowledge are the only way to rebuild our lives and, more importantly, to rebuild our humanity and our countries. There is no doubt that challenges are so big for us to integrate. But we can do something to accelerate the process of integration. We can do that by supporting education, entrepreneurship, and creative expression. Makerspaces like the Row is trying to establish can train us and give us uh, the needed uh, skills to get jobs in the future when robots and robots and automation will take many, so many jobs. So, such maker spaces can provide science and technology education for a lost generation displaced by war. It can provide a platform to deal with trauma through interactive and creative expression. It can help us to start companies and create jobs for others. And most importantly, promote gender equality by providing equal access to education and training for women. With such tools, we will discover people's capabilities and we will inspire them to act. We will achieve the goals of integration and we will bring local people and refugees closer. Here in Berlin, in our settlement, I've started to give uh, programming courses for kids, how to code Arduinos, kids who have witnessed war, kids that through inspiration, learning, they will forget about problems and they will be excited about life. هي عم تشتغل 10 50 شو فينا لا هلا عم بيسالك سؤال مخصص بالنسبه ليش جي ان دي عم سالب جي ان دي يعني سالب هلا وقت نرجع نبعث الكود الجديد يشتغل. لازم يشتغل اصلا شاب اشتغل لا في نحن هذا ضي ضل بمكانه لانه نحن واصلينه كله تصوى بس فينا نغير هدول بس وقتنا نغيرهم نرجع نكتب وين نحن حطينا ثواني وبعديك ثاني ايه هي بتضل ثلاث دقائق هي 50 ثانيه Today I learned about uh, Andorino. It is it's very easy, and you can make anything about Andorino. Next, I want to build an educational robot, and I want to explore uh, a platform for uh, Internet of Things. 
and also I want to help rescue workers back in Syria by hacking together DIY solutions to make low-cost rescuing equipment to rescue people under the rubble. Most of us have risked their lives in order to start a new life. A life full of hope, a life away from war, a life as we imagined it. This is the only way to rebuild our lives and someday to rebuild our countries. Because future is not just a place you go, it's a place you dream and a place you imagine. Thank you.